My name is Jack Callahan. And I'm Elliot Johnson. And we are two public health students here at UMass Old. And just 10 miles northeast of us is the city of Lawrence, Massachusetts. As the 12th most populated city in the state, Lawrence has a diverse and hardworking population of nearly 88,000 residents, with 80% of these residents identifying as Hispanic and 40% being foreign born. Lawrence is the most heavily Latinx community in New England. Yet despite a hardworking spirit and strong sense of community, Lawrence, like many other former industrial mill cities, now faces economic challenges. Today, Lawrence struggles with high rates of poverty, limited access to food, and an affordable housing crisis. Over 70% of Lawrence residents are renters, which is nearly double the state. And among these renters, 56% are housing cost burden, meaning they spend more than 30% of their income on housing alone. Additionally, a community health survey found that more affordable housing was the most popular need identified by residents. With the clear need to address affordable housing and the issues brought on by a lack of it in the city, the community-based organization Lawrence Community Works developed the Die Works project. The project has successfully transformed a vacant mill in a contaminated post-industrial area of the city into an affordable housing development. In addition to housing, the project has a continuous focus on addressing other key social determinants of health through fostering a neighborhood conducive to residents' well-being, offering essential services, culturally relevant healthy food, and green spaces. DieWorks stands as a novel, multi-level intervention. In partnership with LCW, UMass Lowell has been tasked with evaluating the impact of the DieWorks project. Residents applied to the housing development and were subsequently screened for eligibility. Accepted applicants serve as the intervention group in the evaluation, while applicants who were not accepted were invited to serve as controls. At baseline evaluation, there were 78 control participants and 10 intervention participants. At this stage of evaluation, intervention participants had not yet moved into the development. Thus, this step serves as a baseline for the study's 24-month evaluation period to examine how DieWorks impacts residents' social determinants and quality of life. Through over-the-phone interviews conducted by trained staff, data was collected on participants' demographic information, housing and food security, loneliness, quality of life, and perceived stress. A Fisher's test was also used to test for differences between the groups. Results at baseline evaluation show no statistically significant difference between the control and intervention participants. However, evident issues regarding housing satisfaction, food security, and stress were found in both groups, with a large proportion of both these groups reporting dissatisfaction with their current housing, low to very low levels of food security, and high levels of perceived stress. Our evaluation will closely monitor changes between the groups, providing insights into DieWorks' impact and effectiveness to serve as a model for other future housing developments.